And it looks like this match is underway. Oh, Gianluca Martini taking it right to Iron Duke Bishop. He doesn't care about the size advantage. I mean, Iron Duke Bishop's a huge guy. I mean, we're with the world class Gianluca Martini, he stands at six foot two, which is nothing compared to Iron Duke Bishop. Not to mention the uh, size advantage as far as the weight goes. But uh, Gianluca Martini taking no, no precautions here. He went right after Iron Duke Bishop. He brought him into the corner, delivering some body shots and head shots with his uh, fists. Iron Duke Bishop was able to counter it and throw him into the corner, but Martini was able to slide out of the ring. Iron Duke Bishop, Bishop followed suit, and the two brawled for a little bit on the outside, but uh, Gianluca Martini was able to throw Iron Duke Bishop into the barricade, trying to use whatever he can to his advantage, because uh, Iron Duke Bishop definitely has his size and height to his advantage. Now Gianluca Martini's back on the inside of the ring, and he's running the ropes. Oh! He was trying to do a diving move to the outside onto Iron Duke Bishop, but Duke was, uh, he was too, too quick. He went under the ring, got a chair, and smashed Gianluca Martini right in the, right in the temple, I believe, with that chair as uh, Gianluca Martini was trying to dive out of the ring onto Iron Duke Bishop. Um, let's go, uh, let's see, now the two, looks like Iron Duke is down. I'm sorry, Gianluca Martini, I'm sorry, he's down. Iron Duke's throwing him into the ring. Let's go, uh, let's go back to Twitter and see what other fans had to, uh, had to say or ask some of our stars. Alright, let's see. We have, uh, we have, who is this? LA101 star 223. I'm sorry, at LOA, LA101, etc. That Twitter handle he asked, it looks like he was asking Nick Jordan. He goes, uh, Killian Red was a part of NGCW and is a part of IWE, whereas you are, uh, you're just a newcomer to the scene. Are you worried about Killian's experience advantage going into the match? So that's, that's of course referencing to the fact that uh, you know Killian Red has been in this he he has been in this business a little bit longer than Nick Jordan has. So uh, this L A L A one hundred one fan is asking Killian if, or asking Nick if he's worried about Killian's you know experience advantage. And uh, Nick goes in response. He said Killian may have experience here, but you all have to remember that I am a two time. All-state high school champ and a D2 wrestling champ, so I am not worried about experience. I mean, that's that's a fair point. I mean, Killian Red might have the experience when it comes to, you know, inside these four ropes as far as the this this kind of ring goes. But uh, Nick Jordan is Nick Jordan is not new to this whole wrestling in general. I mean, he's an amateur wrestler. He's one of the best. So uh, Killian Red might have to be the one watching out for Nick Jordan's experience and not the other way around. We've seen those top rope suplexes. Those can only be, you know, those German suplexes, the way that he does that, only a world class wrestler like Gianluca, or only a world class wrestler like a uh, amateur wrestler like uh, Nick Jordan can pull those off. And speaking of world class, Gianluca Martini is in the middle of the ring. He's uh, he's really taking it to uh, Iron Duke Bishop. But, oh, Bishop, I'm sorry. I miss. I spoke too soon. Bishop was able to take Martini down the clothesline. He's delivering some hard body, hard headshots rather, and now he's just he just mercilessly just threw uh, Martini outside of the ring. Now he's out there too. He's picking Martini up. What's he doing? Ooh, back suplex right onto the stairs. Ooh, Martini looks like he's hurt. I can't blame him. I wouldn't want to be a part of that. that ugh. that's not. That doesn't look fun. Let's go back to our uh, Twitter. Let's see. IDB fan. I guess that's Iron Duke Bishop fan. 023. He's asking Nick Jordan. He goes, uh, if you were to win, of course, ref referring to the, uh, the Intercontinental title, he goes, if you were to win, who would you want to face next for the title? That's a good question, actually. I don't know. Nick Jordan. Nick Jordan is not afraid of a uh, challenge, so. Kind of curious to see what Nick Jordan's response to that would be. Let's go uh, let's check. Let's see what he had to say. All right, it looks like Nick Jordan said, 
And when I win, it won't matter who I face next, because they won't beat me. With periods in between, which is why I put emphasis on the spacing. But yeah, that's what Nick Jordan had to say. He doesn't care who he faces, because he thinks he, he thinks he can win. And that's, that's only if he can defeat Killing Red in the first place. So, uh, which is some confident words by uh, Nick Jordan, especially for a newcomer. But like we said, he's an amateur wrestler. He's not. He's not a. Uh, he's not a newcomer as far as winning goes. He's been winning a lot out in the uh, amateur wrestling scene. It looks like Iron Duke Bishop is going underneath the ring. What is he going to pull out? Oof! Is that a table? That's a table. Yeah, Iron Duke Bishop has a table out. Crowd is loving it. I mean, they're not loving Iron Duke Bishop, but they're loving the fact that there is a table involved in this match. Iron Duke Bishop's looking around. Looking looking at Martini. He set up the... Oh, he set the table on the outside, but Martini was playing possum. He ran full speed, and he's delivering right hook after right hook to Iron Duke Bishop. Now they're... Now they're... Oh, they're going up the, the ramp, it looks like. Where are they going? Remember, this is a street fight, so there's no count out or disqualification for that matter. Now they're almost at they're almost at the stage. Now they're going up the ramp. Iron Duke Bishop just fell off the ramp. Now they're on like the, the side of the ramp, brawling. Uh, Gianluca Martini just taking it to look at those punches. Oh, he's backing up. What's he gonna do? Oh, he charged at Iron Duke Bishop, but Iron Duke Bishop was able to lift him up and over and. Gianluca Martini flipped over Iron Duke Bishop and landed back first onto that metal of the onto the metal of the the uh, what is that steel on the ramp? That looked like it really hurt. And yeah, he's down now. All right, back to Twitter. Our final question for uh, Nick Jordan came from actually it came from Matthias Gray fan. It looks like it goes. Oh, it looks like a Bookie Harvey fan. Bookie Harvey 002 asks Nick Jordan. He goes. On the round table, were you agreeing with the actions that Matthias Gray took regarding Zach Smith? And of course, he's uh, the fan is referencing to the round table this week where uh, Nick Jordan, well, Cameron Cray and Zach Smith and Gianluca Martini, they're all talking. Cameron Cray was asking about what Matthias Gray did to Zach Smith, and he was talking to him. Cameron Cray, like, I, like, uh, like, like we all know, he's not afraid to uh, speak his mind kind of like jason spades is the same way he's not afraid to say how it is and neither is zach smith and those two definitely uh they made their their uh opinion about this matter very clear on the round table however nick jordan he says something to the uh, to the extent of uh matthias gray he said he said that matthias gray was just doing his job so uh he said it very passively so i don't know if he was taking matthias gray aside or just not trying to get involved or if, i don't know what he was doing but uh let's see what he has to answer about that all right, so Nick Jordan responds, maybe agreeing is a strong word. Matthias has done everything in his power to keep WWC running smoothly, so why would you mess all that up by taking out his top talent? He's just doing what is best for business. Huh. Okay, so, uh, looks like, that, it looks like Nick Jordan is, he doesn't necessarily agree with Matthias Gray, but I guess he trusts what Matthias Gray is doing for this business, after, I mean, it's, I mean, because Nick Jordan is this is his first company, and I guess he's happy with the way that WWC is going. So uh, I guess he doesn't want to get involved with the whole Zach Smith Matthias Gray beef they got going on, and uh, he even went as far to call Zach Smith a top talent. So it looks like he's um he's impartial. Then it looks like so uh, good for good for Nick Jordan. Let's see what's going on back in the ring. Now they're back. They're back in the ring now. Uh, Iron Duke Bishop and uh, well, at least Gian Luca Martini's back in the ring. He's down. Iron Duke Bishop's on the outside of the ring, and of course he is under the apron. And he just pulled out another table. I don't know why the other table on the other side of the ring is still set up. I don't know why he needs another one, but it looks like this one is going inside the ring. Yep, he's throwing this one into the ring. Man, these two are really taking to each other. I mean, this is a street fight. And oh, Iron Duke Bishop got back into the ring, but Gianluca Martini is showing that fight, that world class fight. He's back on his feet. He just kicks, right kick, left kick. Just missed the roundhouse. And oh, Iron Duke Bishop answers back with a knee to the face. 
or I'm sorry, knees to the gut, and now he, oh, he just suplexed uh, Gianluca Martini right onto the ropes, and then he rebounded off the ropes onto the outside of the ring. Gianluca Martini is not looking too good after that. Now it looks like Iron Duke is setting up the table in the corner of the ring. It's set upright in the corner. He's looking at Gianluca Martini who just slid back into the ring and ooh, stomped Martini and now, oh, he tried to throw Martini onto the table or against the table in the corner, but Martini's fighting back, delivering some punches. There's still that chair in the middle of the ring too. I wonder if that's gonna be playing a part. Iron Duke just, ooh, Iron Duke Bishop, he, he just Iris whipped uh he's Iris Iris whipped Martini into the corner, but Martini used the corner to jump. He uses he used the uh turnbuckle to almost like stairs and he jumped over Iron Duke Bishop with a backflip and he ran the ropes and he hit a huge clothesline at Iron Duke Bishop. Now Iron Duke Bishop's trying to get up, he's in the corner, but Gian Gianluca Martini hit a huge uh, corner drop kick on Iron Duke Bishop and but Iron Duke Bishop's not down. He's still groggy in the corner, but uh, oh, now he's down. Gianluca Martini just hit a whole bunch of kicks to the, oh. Martini went to the other corner to charge at the downed Iron Duke, but Iron Duke took that chair and threw it right in the face, right in the face of Gianluca Martini. And Martini is down again. This is some match, ladies and gentlemen. The street fight, our pre-show, I mean, I know our opening match is a casket match, which is also no disqualification, but uh, I believe it or not, it looks like JT Allen and Cameron Cray are going to have to really do try their best to uh, top this match we have going on right now in our pre-show. I mean, this, this crowd is loving it. Tables, chairs are getting involved. They're all over the ring, all over the outside. I mean, it's going to really take something for JT Allen and Cameron Cray to top this match. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe this was a... I mean, Gianluca Martini said on the round table he shouldn't have been on the pre-show. He, he thought he should, he should be on the real thing, and maybe he was right. I mean, this is some match we really got going on over here. But uh, we'll be right back, folks.